Hey guys, Liam here. Do you want to do some more customization on your Steam Deck? Well, here's a fun one you can do. You can actually change the boot animation of the Steam Deck to whatever you want. It requires a really small amount of tinkering and ensuring that your selected video is in the right file format, but it's pretty straightforward to do. Now, I'm going to show you the manual process because while there are a few scripts floating around that can do it for you, Nothing beats the process of learning to do it directly and scripts can end up being outdated or they can be edited with malicious intent and so on. So I don't particularly want to point you guys anywhere specific on that. I will give a big shout out to Reddit user Derpin Herps for their instructions which I use to make this. So first, you do need a video file in the WebM format. If you don't know how to convert a video file, there are a lot of websites that can do it like cloudconvert.com. Anyway, let's begin. First of all, you need to open your file manager and you need to unhide all the folders with the dot at the start. Then we're going into dot local, share, steam, steam UI, movies. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to make a backup of the deck underscore startup dot webm file. You can do that just by right clicking and duplicate it. The next thing that you want to do is get the correct file size of it. So we can right click, go to properties, and it's the bigger size in the brackets, the 1840847. So make a note of that. Now for whatever video file you're using, we can just copy it over with the same name, deck underscore startup dot webm. Now we need to open a terminal here so that we can truncate our new file to the exact correct size we found earlier. And you can do that by right clicking in the folder and selecting open terminal, which will open the terminal directly here. And now we just use the truncate command, which you'll see on the screen and it will be in the description as well. After that, we also need to make sure that it's in full screen. So go back to the Steam UI folder and then into CSS and here, we need to make a backup of the library.css file, same method as before, just right click and duplicate. Now we need to check the file size on this one as it changes between Steam Deck updates and it depends on if you're in stable or beta and it can change at any time. So right click, go to the properties and make a note of the file size in brackets. So in my case on the beta, it's 38492. Now open library.css in a text editor, raise the limits if it asks you to, and we're going to search for the word video. When we found that, we're just gonna edit the next little bit to say flex grow one and set width and height both to 100% just to make it all fit properly. Save it and close it. And now we need to open a terminal in here as well. Again, right click, open terminal, and now we're going to truncate it to the exact file size that we found earlier. Again, this will be noted in the description. Once you've done that, that's it. You are completely done. Now you can just reboot your Steam Deck and watch as the new boot animation comes in. Now in this clip that you're seeing here, I am doing a full complete reboot of the entire machine just to show it off. So it does take a minute or two to fully load up and then actually show my video, which will be obvious because of the name Gaming on Linux. Now, for those of you who don't wish to do this manually, there will be a few links in the description to a couple of places that I found that are doing the scripts for it, but I thought I would just show you exactly how to do it yourself. So I hope you found that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will catch you all next time.